Welcome to Cisco Voice Solutions for Small Business. This product will focus on the ATA appliance or analog telephone adapter. I think the big driver for this type of video is that everyone understands the importance of voice service within businesses. Voice service helps keep customers, maintain those customer relations, and the ability to send fax can send legal documents across the network. So this video series is direct and to the point. We're focusing on the ATA appliance. AT appliance is going to be for a very small business. Very simple device, but understanding what's around that AT appliance is very important too. My name is Joe Sullivan. Allow me a minute to introduce myself. I'm a Cisco certified networking instructor. I teach CCMP classes and CCNA classes. I've been teaching for collaboration systems for a number of years. I'm both an educator and a consultant. I worked in developing telecommunication systems both nationally and internationally and I have two patents with Voice over IP services. If you'd like to get in touch with me, feel free to use my LinkedIn account. Go ahead and send me a message. I'll be glad to accept you. And also, it's a great way to keep in contact with other members of the PacPub community. So let's go ahead and get started on the course overview. This course is going to be very practical for you. We're going to provide you a lot of command and hands-on interaction so that you'll understand exactly what you're doing in the organization. We broke this down into four aspects. Small office hardware, that's where you understand the roles of devices, from the routers to the modems, to the analog telephone adapters. These are all essential devices that you'll learn how to configure and adapt to your enterprise. So we're going to look at some features within each device and talk about briefly if those features should be enabled or disabled and what they're used for. So next thing we're going to move towards is the gateway and trunk connections. In these gateway and trunk connections, we're going to look at how they support our fax system. So how the business model is supported. We're going to examine our SIP trunks and establish SIP trunks themselves. We're going to look at various providers for SIP trunks and understand the real flexibility with SIP trunks as a modern way of communicating through voice. Finally, we're going to look at Google Voice setup using the OBI hardware device. We're going to show you how to set up a simple Google Voice service so that your business can, in, in addition, we're going to show you how to set up a simple Google Voice service so in conjunction with your SIP trunks, you can also be running a Google Voice as a backup for your enterprise. Finally, we're going to move to the topology and setup. This is the core of the class. Topology and setup will go through command line and web management of your device. We'll talk about in-band and out-of-band management and the benefits of either one. We're going to actually show you how to do a service level agreement or an SLA on your device to test your quality of service of your pathway before you even deploy your voice setup. It is always recommended that you have a good quality of service on your pathway before you deploy voice. Much easier to troubleshoot and manage your devices. Next, we're going to show you how to perform auto backups and synchronization of your configurations to an off-site device. This allows you to do a faster recovery in the event of a failure. I'm going to show you a little bit about file management and file creation. Next, we're going to look at IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. We're going to both subnet an IPv4 and an IPv6 address in the simplest terms as possible. I think we're the only one pretty much on the internet to do this in one page. So we have a very simple explanation that I know works for people that help you understand both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Next we're going to look at dial plans and the importance of dial plans in analog and digital phone systems. Dial plans you come to think of as the ability to route numbers. So we're going to move next to our verification steps. So after we deployed our SIP trunk, we're going to look at the SIP costs associated with that phone call in a chest. And then we're going to test for active SIP uh, communication on our ATA appliance. The prerequisites of this course are few. We're looking for a basic understanding in networking or IP addressing. That's certainly a plus, but this video series will actually help you understand that. We'll also look for a general understanding of your business requirements. By you knowing your business requirements can help you design the perfect solution in IT to meet those business requirements for now and going forward. So finally, we're looking for a background in network engineering. It's certainly beneficial, but not a requirement. That's something that is preferred. Again, as we go through, we're going to show you scenarios. You're going to be very involved. It'll be a hands-on type environment to show you step-by-step -step what we're doing. So to accomplish these objectives, we're going to take a look at three simple steps. First, we're going to look at the ATA and SIP trunk setup and how they can support your business. The second thing is we're going to look at the path performance and actually go ahead and 
provision and deploy these services. Finally, in step three, we're going to do a verification of these services and show you a little bit about common troubleshooting commands. We hope you enjoy this video series. And next thing we're going to do is get started playing with small office and home office hardware.